2020, we've seen so many new cameras get released this year that I'm honestly kind of just sick of how many there are. But there is one camera line that does not get updated every month that is very, very special. And has been tried and true since the first model that was released of this camera. And that is the Fujifilm X100 line. But why has this camera not really changed? Why has this line in particular stayed the course and stayed true to its original design and the original values that it was created with? The X100V has a classic design, reminiscent of old rangefinder cameras. The most controversial thing about the design has to be the lens system. This is a fixed 35 millimeter equivalent lens, a lens that you cannot change on the camera at all. It's a lens that can be used for a variety of different subjects, including landscape, portrait, lifestyle, really kind of whatever you throw at it, it can do pretty well. But the fixed lens also has one other advantage that is not talked about, the fact that you can't change it. When Steve Jobs was alive, he used to wear the exact same turtleneck every single day. And same thing with Mark Zuckerberg, the exact same color of shirt, the exact same jeans every single day. And why is that? It's because they want to remove any kind of thought that they have to have in their day does not pertain to their most important tasks. See, we all have a certain number of brain cycles that we have every single day to focus on all the tasks that we have. If you're going out there to shoot some photography and you're thinking about whether you should take a 24 to 70 or a 35 prime, or do you need your 70 to 200, or do you need a wide angle lens, all these decisions factor into your day and make your mind more cluttered. This camera, it's for a cluttered, free-brained photographer. Someone that wants to focus on the craft, focus on actually taking the images and making them better. And so the first lesson this camera really taught me in life is that there are things in life that you absolutely need, right? Like clothing. Then there are things in life that you want that will bring you a certain level of happiness, but that happiness will very quickly wear off. Like for example, a fancy pair of shoes, right? If you have a fancy pair of shoes, that does not necessarily make you happier long term. Short term, yes, you might look at it, you might feel good, but over time, they become your new normal. And your happiness baseline level ends up resetting back to the level that you're in right now. This is called the hedonistic principle. It's the idea that no matter what you have in life, whether it's a lot of abundance or not that much, it becomes your new normal. This camera has the bare minimum that you need to get really great shots. But not every single bell and whistle that you need to get every kind of shot possible. You have to ask yourself though, is getting the best shot possible worth the cost that it comes with to have all that gear at your disposal? Here is some photos that I took at my son's graduation from kindergarten about two years ago. And I had the Canon 1DX Mark II body and the Canon 24 to 105 f4 lens. This combination is huge. And the photos I got were amazing. I loved the pictures. They were crisp, they popped, they looked really nice. I got the whole range from 24 to 105. It just worked really well. Here are some other photos that I took with the X100T, the little brother of the V. These pictures look great too. <laughs> The memories were still captured, and as far as I can tell, like, the job was done, right? This thing got the job done. It took amazing pictures, they're also really crisp, and it's maybe a tenth the size of that camera, and a tenth the cost of that camera in the setup. So you have to really ask yourself, is owning all that gear necessary? And so in life, there's going to be things that you need and things that you want. And you want to live your life in a way where you ruthlessly cut out the things that you don't need. Because the things that you end up accumulating over time, they weigh you down. Next, let's talk about this camera's design. The only way I can describe it is basically that it's just different. If you were to look at every camera that came out this year in 2020, and you were to put this camera side by side with those cameras, you would see that this camera is just boldly different. When I was growing up, I worked really hard to just fit into the mold. When I was applying for colleges, I applied to dental school so I could be a dentist just because most of my friends in high school in that time, that's what they were doing. So fast forward, when I was in my first year of dental school, I hated my life. 
I did not enjoy learning about that stuff at all. I did not enjoy carving teeth at all. I had the worst time that first year. I was struggling so much. I never considered what I actually wanted to do. I tried to look like everybody else and please my, my friends, my parents, and I'd never taken the time to think like, what do I actually want to do with my life? And that's what this camera, when I look at it, it reminds me of that. It reminds me to constantly stand out, be myself and express myself and not have to worry about what other people are gonna think of me. And I just quit. <laughs> I just left. I had $60,000 in loans from the first year of school. I had no backup plan. I had a, a worthless undergrad degree. But looking at my life 10 years later, I can say for a fact that was an amazing decision. That was like the best thing that happened to me. The fact that I was able to leave and like start thinking about what I wanted to do with my life. And now I'm doing things that I actually want to do. That's just incredible. And it's all because I looked life and society in the face and I stood out. I was like, I'm not gonna do this anymore. This is not for me. And that's what this camera reminds me to do. It just looks different and it's not afraid about it. It looks different, but you know what? It looks great. This might seem silly. Like, why are you comparing, taking life lessons from a camera? But these are things that I genuinely believe the engineers who worked on this system had in mind, right? They didn't want it to look like every other camera. They wanted this thing to have a life of its own, right? And to be bold and stand out there. The next thing is this camera size. If you look at this camera size, the camera itself probably weighs as much as my Canon 15-35 f2.8 lens. This camera can fit in my backpack and this one can fit in my pocket. Now for YouTube, I have a Canon R5 that I'm using to shoot all my videos with. Compared to that, this thing is just a tiny little nothing. You can compare them into the difference right here. Um, there really is no comparison. And that kind of piggybacks off my original point, right? In life, there's going to be things that you'll want to accumulate. Houses, cars, cameras. We all have that one thing that we cannot stop hoarding. And advertisers will pay millions of dollars to get in front of you in Facebook ads and Instagram ads and stuff like that to get you to buy their stuff. The more stuff you buy, the more stuff you accumulate, the more cluttered your life becomes and your mind becomes. I only trying to purchase what I need, right? But in the world where Amazon exists and you can buy something and it comes in a day and a half, it's really hard, right? Like it's just so easy to buy whatever you want and have it come in the mail. And the last life lesson that this camera has taught me has been about dependability, about speed. This camera has a lightning fast boot up time. You just, you literally turn it on and it's ready to go. You can take a shot in a second. There's no lag at all. And I am personally one of those people that takes either 10 seconds or 10 weeks to respond to an email. <laughs> I'm trying to become a person who's much more dependable and reliable in life and will at least respond to you quickly. I really feel like this line is a very special line. And the engineers and the designers and the people that worked on this system, I feel like they really created something special. You know, at the end of the day, this thing is just simple, right? It looks great, the image quality is fantastic. And even the way that I use it is very simple too. I'm basically always in shutter is automatic, auto ISO, and I'm at F2. That's basically how I shoot in classic chrome sim film simulation. That's kind of how I do it. And it's just, I take hundreds of shots with this guy all the time and it always works. And I love the image quality of the development. It's just such a pleasure to use and it's so easy to use. And it really kind of just speaks to me. So who's this guy for? Again, this was not looking at specs and stuff like that. I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do is just talk about some of the feelings, you know, some of the emotions, some of the values that I feel like this system entails. And I feel like that's a much more powerful review than just talking about specs and what it can and can't do and shutter and all that kind of stuff. This thing has amazing features in it. You know, you can go read that anywhere else. 
but I really feel like this camera is for someone who loves taking pictures, who loves photography, who doesn't want to be bogged down by too many decisions about what lens to have or like what to bring with you on a shoot. You just want to live life, you want to document it beautifully, but you don't really want to think about how, you just want to do it, right? 